I am the true vine, and my Father is the vineyard keeper. Remain in me, and I will remain in you. A branch can't produce fruit by itself, but must remain in the vine. Likewise, you can't produce fruit unless you remain in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, then you will produce much fruit. Without me, you can't do anything. If you remain in me and my words remain in you, ask for whatever I want, whatever you want, and it will be done for you. My Father is glorified when you produce much fruit. And in this way, prove that you are my disciples. This morning, I went for a walk. And while I was out, I was thinking about how we are connected with Christ. I was thinking about how Christ is always a part of our lives. And and what Christ desires of us is to look to him. And so this idea of remaining in Christ is remaining connected in this time when we, as humans, have to keep our distance and don't feel physically connected, though are socially connected. That idea of connection is an important thing. You may realize that you're missing those connections. And yet there is the one who changed everything, who is always connected with us. Now, I was thinking about this this morning because I was walking my dogs. And I have a, an apparatus that I use that it, it's, a, it's a leash that it goes around my waist and then it has the double leash. And then I have a third leash that goes on Moses, my little dog. And uh, we went for a good long walk this morning. And I was thinking about how, you know, in lots of ways, I'm their master and, and, uh, and they rely on me. And they stay connected with me when we go for walks and they trudge ahead and Moses usually trudges a little back behind because he's a little slower, he's got smaller legs. But you know, that connection is something that we all do together. They rely on me to look across the street Uh, and when we're crossing the street to make sure nothing's coming. They rely on me to keep them back, and that's why we have the harness on, so they don't chase squirrels. And that connection is important because it keeps them safe. But it also moves them to be able to share the journey. In addition, there are times when I need to call them and when I do and instruct them, then they listen. Come on. Sometimes, sometimes they don't. But that kind of instruction and, and listening is, is important because it, again, moves us together. I, I'm standing here in our sanctuary and, and I'm right in front of the cross. That cross is a reminder of the connection we have with Christ in his death, but also in his resurrection because you see it's empty. And so in these days, I I invite you to think about what it means to be connected with Christ. How is that important for you? And what does that mean for you that you and I are connected with the very one who desires us to bear fruit and to live and to love, especially in times when the connections of our friends and our family can seem so distant. Remember that we're not only connected with him, but he connects us with them. Would you pray with me? God, we are thankful that you are connected with us and we are connected with you. Help us to remain in you as a vine that you give us the lifeblood we need. And that in that gift, we would bear fruit, we would find comfort, and we would be strengthened.
by your great love. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Be safe. Be well. Abide in Christ. Thank you.